Five final floors, five final floors. <laughs> please let it end, please just let it end. <laughs> okay, seriously though, it's not that bad. <laughs> I still really wanted to end though. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Balkifanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny Tower of Draga. Damn it, I messed up. <laughs> Guess what floor we're on? Even though it already said on screen, and if you know basic math, you already know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're on floor 55, which we just skipped because there's no item up here, <laughs> which is a little bit weird. But anyway, not complaining. We are now at floor 56, and you can probably see that this game is going at normal speed. Why? Yeah, because I wanted to. That's why. <laughs> and believe it or not, floor 56, it got a treasure chest. But it's empty, and you can get that treasure chest as many times as you want. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? But then floor 57 comes around and ruin it all. There is a treasure chest here that you actually really, really want to get. It's not the final rod, but it's a very, very good weapon. And you might be wondering though why I'm not speeding up now. And that's because I wanted this video to be a little bit long. Is that a crime? Really shouldn't be. <laughs> but anyway, 457, you want once again to ignore the key and go and check the door. And then this woman will appear, and I will get stabbed in the ass by a Mirror Knight. Thank you, Mirror Knight. Thank you. Stupid Knight wasting my time and giving me unneeded levels. <laughs> anyway, you can hear that the music is a little bit different. That's because of this lady. But it's the fake Ishtar. Too bad, I'm the fake Ishtar. I'm not letting you go any further. Yeah, I, we don't even know who Ishtar is, but this is a fake one, apparently. And uh, she's supposed to be a mini-boss. But stasis works, so she's dead. <laughs> I will say though, I really like her uh, stuck in time animation. She's incredibly spiky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, if you want to fight this lady normally, equip not something else than a light elemental weapon she, since she will actually absorb it. And yeah, you can also get turned to stone, so stop that. But uh, yeah, Ishtar is supposed to be the, um, what can I say, the goddess in the Tower of Turaga games. So we probably want to find her. But after you defeat the fake Ishtar, you want to defeat a lizard man. Remember, he absorbs fire, so the Bahamut Stair is the way to go. Or I think maybe the Excalibur would be a little bit better, but I'm not taking my chances. So Bahamut Stair is the way to go. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, Ishtar, of course, that was a fake one, but uh, we really want to find Ishtar because she's important and yada yada yada. But, after you defeat the fake Ishtar and a lizard man, a treasure chest will appear. Let's see. I can't see it. Damn it. And I just bunked my mic with, with my phone. That's not good. Let's see. Where the hell's the treasure chest? Uh... This is something. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we will get the Berserker Bow, or Berserker Bow, which is the strongest weapon in the game for Chelsea. A bow with crazed power. Oh, a bow of a crazed warrior. It has deadly striking power. It's fire elemental, so don't use it against the Mirror Knight. A Mirror Knight. A Lizard Man, but look at this 200 more attack. That is insane. I mean, yeah, it's uh, the reason why it's such a huge boost is that there is a weapon in between this and the and the Berserker bow that we get in Diecraft, but the bow in Diecraft now is useless, and we got a massive boost, which is incredibly good. You can even get more of the Berserker bow if you really want to. Sadly though, Chelsea is good with the bow, but she cannot dual wield them. Don't really know how that would work, but she can't. I tried. <laughs> Anyway, floor 58 is the final floor that you really, really want to get the item. You will get the final rod on this floor. But I noticed that this floor is a little bit picky. And it doesn't help that, well, a lot of people, that people have their own way of getting the item. My personal way, though, is just go up to the north uh, wall, stay in the middle, check it. Run down to the south part, check it, and back up. That's it. It's really not that hard, but it is picky. You don't even need to fight any enemies. I do that because I don't even know. 
I guess I really wanted some unneeded experience or something, but oh well. <laughs> Let's see, can I do it now, please? Oh, it's already here. Okay, we get the blue crystal rod. Thank God. I mean, I've seen people getting stuck on this floor for hours. I'm not even kidding. But with that, we are finally at the 59th floor. Now, if you don't have the three rods, get the key and go to the door. You will not be able to do anything on this floor. Or you can, but if you try to fight the final enemy here, you will die. Very, very painfully. <laughs> so, if you don't have the rods, just get the key and go to the door and you will soon, apparently, back to the 38th floor. Which is where the first rod is. Or it's supposed to be a 38, but for some reason when I do that, I always go to the f for the first floor. Don't really know why, since that wouldn't help me at all. <laughs> but anyway, if you have the three rods, you can fight the closest thing this, this game has to a optional boss, or a optional super boss. And it is, surprise surprise, Druaga, the final boss from the Tower of Druaga. But he hasn't appeared yet. So what you need to do is kill the, um, the Hyper Knight that is walking around very fast. There's two, one is slow, the other one is fast. And then you want to kill all the wizards that are here. I got lucky they all moved in one place and I got to kill them all one by one for some reason. And that will make the dragon appear, the original dragon, so shouldn't be a problem. And then, when you defeat him, our final enemy in the tower will appear. Before you fight him though, as you see he teleports, he goes very fast. Before you fight him, make sure you put Rudy in your party. Because he got something that you want to steal. This is Draga, the master of the Tower of Draga. Yeah, I know, he's not really that clever with the naming. <laughs> he is probably the most damaging foe in the game, especially if you don't have the rods. If you don't have the rods, he will spam you with incredibly powerful spells, he will one-shot you with his physical attacks and everything. So yeah, you won't win if you don't have the rods, you can't even damage the guy. But anyway, you really want Rudy to steal from this guy, because it's something very, very, very worth it. If she could just do it, that would be nice. And we also learn some new moves, or spells, like this. Or not. Okay, that's, la that's later on. <laughs> yes, I'm still doing post-commentary, by the way. And... Oh, ow. Yeah, you see, one of his physical attacks actually does around 1000 da damage. That's more than the final boss. That is painful. But let's see, can she do it? Yes, got it! Okay, now let's go all out. It doesn't have that much HP, but really... Yeah, as you see here, Philia learned a fun little spell called Black Hole. Oh, ouch, oh, oh thank god. <laughs> that is probably his strongest attack, he will go into a frenzy, but Philia stopped him, thank god. <laughs> he will also use Black Hole and other very painful moves when you don't have the rods, but I already talked about that, and wow, it's done already. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And the thing we stole from him was a fairy ring. Oh my god, we finally got a fairy ring! Thank the lord! About time! The first time I went through this game, I didn't think the fairy ring actually existed in this game. Reduces TP consumption by half. I am definitely giving that to Stan. It's time to spam, spam, and spam some more. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to finally get it. And you know what? It also feels incredibly good to say that when we go through this door, probably should get the key first, we are at the final floor. Freaking finally! Oh, man. I like this dungeon, but I will not be playing a Tower of Draga game in quite some time. And as you hear, the Ishtar music is here again, and there's Ishtar too, so let's talk to her, and this is the real one. You have reached the top floor of the Tower of Draga. Place the rods on the floor to rescue Key. Yeah, that's something that we haven't heard before, but that's the plot of the Tower of Draga. 
You control Gilgamesh, and you want to save your girlfriend friend called Key. That's it, and you see that thing on the floor there? Yeah, that's actually Key, but she's... She's trapped, so we can't do anything with it. So, we place a green crystal rod. Problem is, I can't remember where I want to put the rods. Just run over all the uh, areas and you will automatically put them on the ground. Wow, this is picky. There we go, that's the red one. And the final one is actually after you rescued your key, but I didn't remember that, so... There we go, smart guy. You saved me, thank you, thank you! And that's it, yeah. We go out again, do it. Oh yeah, sorry, we have to actually touch her too. And for some reason I don't know what to do. There we go, we placed a blue crystal rod. And that's that. Two hours and ten minutes later. Thank you for your help. Here, please take this. And we get the Destroyer Disc. An awesome disc with an awesome, awesome spell. And we just get kicked out. I don't mind. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have to go out on my own or waste wing boots. But anyway, the Destroyer Disc. 415, 415. Not the greatest stats, but the spell is indeed good. Since the Megalith isn't uh, got a bigger boost, I I was wondering if I should give it him. But I think Philia will really like this one. And the spell we got is Big Freaking Bang. Generates a massive explosion. Yeah, Big Bang. You know the move that gets turned into a high oogie later on. Though Archie also had the spell, but yeah, Big Bang. The explosion that pretty much made everything. We can summon that now as a spell. I mean, pff, that's not overpowered at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> but with that, we are done with the Tower of Draga. Is what I want to say. You know that I am a completionist, right? Well... Namco are assholes. The, or the people of Namco. The company is not a, an asshole, though. No. You see, uh, there's some items that you can get in the tower if you go through it a second time. I don't know what they were on, but I'm gonna go get them now. Off screen, of course, I will cut to the new item. The thing you need to do to get the item is still the same as before, but certain floors got new items on them, so... Uh, I'm gonna enjoy the tower once more. Yay! Sarcasm! <laughs> oh man. Thankfully though, I don't need to get all the items again now. I just need to uh, get the key and then run through the door, but still. <sighs> oh well. I'll meet you guys back at the first floor that got a new item. So, the first floor with the new item is Floor 7. Now, on this one we had to throw away the energy bullet that we get in the treasure chest. And we will, and we would get a reverse stall. Well, this time, we get something different. Yeah, surprise, I know. <laughs> this time though, instead of the reverse stall, we will get a channeling. Now, I would prefer to get another reverse stall, but... Well, the channeling we get a lot of money from, so I'm not complaining, but I would prefer a reverse stall, to be quite honest. <laughs> anyway, on to the next floor with the new item. Ow, ow! Next, the next floor, ow, is floor 11, where you wanted to stand in this corner for 10 seconds. Ow! And the best, and the easiest way to do that is to look at the torches on the wall. Every time they fire up, I don't know what to say. That is one second. That's something that I forgot to say during the playthrough. But if you do that right, last time we got a strength disc out of that. This time, we get a tech ring. Once again, even though it's not really that good, I would prefer the old item. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. Floor 13, where we wanted to ignore the key, check the door, and kill all the enemies. Last time we got the red shield. 
This time we get the Moon Sword, which is not as good as the Excalibur. So I feel that they should probably switch those around, but oh well. A Sword of Light, its blade has an eerie glow. That sounds cool and all, but you're just a laser blade knockoff. <laughs> Seriously, you got the, st you got the same uh, model and everything, but yeah, I, s I feel that they should have changed those around, that you got the Moon Sword on the first playthrough and then the Excalibur, but uh, I'm not gonna use them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> the next item is on floor 21, but I was not able to get this one actually. This is the floor that you wanted to stay on your starting position for over 10 seconds and then move to a different area. But for some reason, that didn't work for me. You saw it on my first run through that I actually managed to do it. But not the second time. For some reason, it just didn't work. So I went online and I looked it up and apparently a lot of people is having problems with this one. So I continued to try for around half an hour and then I gave up. The treasure chest just didn't appear. But uh, on the first run through we got a resist ring. And on the second trip we were supposed to get a disc. 450, 450. But then again, that disc isn't really that great. I would give it to Stan and the Megalith to Rudy. But that's gonna wait a little bit longer until we get another disc on a different floor. Could this be that floor? No, it's not, but we do get a pretty good disc on this floor too. This is floor 23, where we wanted to kill a wizard, a blue slime, and then another wizard. And one teleported right off my ass, so that's not bad at all. <laughs> and last time, we got a, um, a thunder disc. This time, we get a SP420-470, which is a pretty good disc for our thrusting Sordian Masters. No, not that type of thrusting, even though I do give it to Gar. <laughs> it's actually quite an upgrade. But, on to the next floor! Which is floor 26. Now, this item is not an item that you can only get on the second run-through. You can actually get the item on the first run-through, run two, but this is the floor where I got the Hyper Gauntlet. Remember I told you that there is also a item here, or a weapon here for Bruiser if you want to get it first. And the way you get that weapon to appear is kill the Hyper Knight and then the Dragon. And then you want the Druid to shoot you up the ass. That's really all. <laughs> and you will get the Battle Knuckle, the strongest weapon by far for Bruiser. Now that's something that I want to talk a little bit about. The ultimate weapons for each character. Now we already got both Bruiser, Mary, even though Mary should really count since her strongest weapon can also be equipped by Stan. And we got Chelsea's Berserker Bow. And of course the Sordian Masters have their Sordians as their ultimate weapons. What the hell happened to Johnny? I mean... Yeah, there is a weapon we can get for Johnny in Diecroft. I spoil a little bit here. Heck, we haven't even gotten the Battle Knuckle yet, but we get the weapon for Johnny in Diecroft. But it's really not that great. But there is actually an answer for that little question, and that is, in the game's coding, there is a weapon for Johnny that is insanely good. It is called the Electric Guitar, and it got damn good stats. 580 attack and 20 defense. That is fantastic. But the thing is, no one knows if you can actually get the weapon in the game. And by the way, there's a the battle knuckle. 800 attack and lightning elemental is just holy crap, Bruiser. <laughs> but yeah. The electric guitar cannot be gotten by normal means, or so people think. For all we know, the uh, empty floors in the Tower of Turaga might actually have the electric guitar. But no one ever actually managed to find it. So I don't really know what they were thinking. It's pretty damn unfair that you get all the strongest weapons for the optional party members in the, in the uh, tower. 
but then Johnny's just left in the dust. That's not fair at all, especially since I really like Johnny. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If they ever actually find a way to get the electric guitar, I will of course make a video about it, since I love Johnny. I want him to get the strongest weapon he can get. And that electric guitar is fantastic. But that's really all I wanted to say about that. There are of course also other items in the game's coding that we haven't found any way to get yet. It's kind of like Lilith to join your party, but there might be a way, who knows. We just have to wait and see, sadly. Next floor with the new item is floor 31. And what you want to do is ignore all the wizards, which can be a little bit hard since they teleport around a lot. And you want to kill all the blue slimes and the willow wisps. And last time we got a mind ring. This time we will get the eye sword. Which you could call the Whirlpool Sword, but no, you gave that name to a Wind Elemental Weapon. Namco. It's hard to defend you at times. <laughs> but yeah, the Ice Sword is really not that great. It's the strongest, I think, non uh, at white we water sword in the game, but yeah, it's really not that good. So, on to floor 39. And I guess I should warn you, if you want to finish off this place again, which you should, you need to get the rods once again. I know it kind of sucks, but you have to. Anyway, floor 39 is the one that you want to break. Two walls in the north and five in the south. Last time we got the silver cape, this time we get the SP 480520. Another good thrusting disc, so it's actually another nice upgrade for Gar. Not complaining, now we are finally starting to get the good stuff. Very, very good. Anyway, on to the next one! Which is floor 46. This is the one that you want to go into all the four corners and then go back to the first corner that you went to. Last time we got the Aqua Cape, this time we get what I think is probably the best disc in the game, SV500-490, which is going to go straight on Stan. Good god, this disc is amazing. <laughs> and I will also give the Megalith disc to Rudy. So now Rudy is going to be the one that's going to spam Meteor Storm. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> anyway, there's two left. Well, technically just one, but we'll get to that. So, I'll meet you guys on floor 50. Now, this is the one that you wanted to avoid all the enemies and touch all four walls. Pretty simple. Last time we got a emerald ring. Can they top that? Well, we do get a mystic symbol, which is not bad, but I would really prefer another emerald ring, but I guess I can't complain. And I'm back here for some reason, even though I clearly said that there are two things to get, not just one. Well, you, you guys know my luck when it comes to recording important stuff, right? Yeah. I lost my footage of the two last floors. It's not that there's anything really special on the two last floors. I mean, you fight Turaga, if you want, and you rescue key. Well, uh, you can actually steal another fairy ring from the Raga, which is amazing. And you will also get a different reward from key, which is what I wanted to show. Of course, my recording got scrapped, but oh uh, well. So, you can't get you cannot get more uh, destroyer discs sadly. But instead, Key will give you another Fairy Ring, which in my opinion might actually be a little bit better. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, at least you now know what happens. Sorry that I couldn't show you. But instead, as you see, I am overleveled as hell. Stan is level 59. That is pretty insane, but I guess that's pretty normal after you've gone through the Tower of Turaga twice. So we are definitely at high enough level to get the final sacred skill. So uh, 
how about I'll meet I meet you guys back in the forest before the Straylice Temple, and we end this video off with a burning bag. Let's go and let's get the final sacred skill. Alrighty, we are back at the final sacred slab skill thingy thingy outside the Straylice Temple. Now, remember the uh, seed planting minigame that we did and I told you to tr at least try to get the golden seed? Well, this is why. And uh, remember that we got the giant disc when we uh, gave the golden seed to uh, uh, Otto. That's because we actually need the giant disc to get the last sacred skill. To be able to learn this one, Stan needs to be level 54, and Dimlos level 50. So... Oh, and you also need the Spin Flare, but you should probably have that. So, it's finally time to get the final Sacred Skill. Words are great at the monument. I feel larger for some reason. What is its name? <laughs> oh, that one's funny. That is... Giant destroyer. A flame that spans the skies like a phoenix in flight. What is its name? I already spoiled it, but it is Spin Flare. A phoenix only appears before those who possess great powers. Cool. And Stan got Phoenix. Yeah, I know the name is a little bit generic, but the skill itself is insane. And just so you know, no, you do not have to have the giant disc equipped to be able to do it. Which is fantastic, since Stan will be even stronger. So, before we end this video off, let's show off the final move for Stan. Phoenix. The user's... The user's body enlarges and executes and executes Spin Flare, which is Raising Phoenix, if you didn't remember. So let's see if we can get into a battle. There we go. This is gonna be awesome. I know I say that with every new move, but seriously, this is awesome. So they're mine, and let's watch the world burn. I think the word screen nuke I pretty much explains what just happened. Yup! <laughs> Stan turned into a giant phoenix and he sweeps all enemies. You can't get away from that move. It will hit everything. I watched someone hack the game so they had phoenix in the beginning of the game. And he used it against every boss. Only one boss managed to get away from it. And that was actually quite funny. That was Hugo. Because every time the Phoenix almost hit him, he teleported away. <laughs> I think he missed like six times before he actually hit him once. And after that he didn't teleport anymore. But it was hilarious. <laughs> but with that... We have gotten every sacred skill, and we have done every optional side stuff. Next time, it's finally time to finish this. We're going to Diecroft. And we are going to end this once and for all. I know that sounds incredibly cheesy and cliche, but that's pretty much what we're going to do. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching. And I see you all. And the final dungeon. See you guys later.